I have tested every internet tweak there is and I can confidently say that in this video I'm going to be showing you the best 7 tweaks to dramatically increase your internet speed on Wi-Fi and Ethernet and get the lowest possible ping for gaming. Make sure to watch this video from start to finish to not miss any tweaks. So before doing any kind of tweak I highly recommend creating a restore point. So click on search and then type in restore point. And right here click on the first one and in this one you go and click on create. Then you can name it however you want, but for me I named it the restore point, so just name it however you want. Then click on create. So this basically creates a restore point. If you mess something up and you don't like the settings, you can go back to... So the next thing you want to do is go into an internet browser of your choice. And then type in speed test. Then click on this first one. I will also leave the link in the description. And then click on go. So with this we basically want to measure our internet speed before and after the tweaks. So measure your speed right here, uh, write down the download and the upload and the ping somewhere. And I also want you to comment down below your speed and if this video helped you. The next thing you want to do is right click on start, click on settings and in here go to windows update and click on check for updates. So just make sure that you are on the latest version of windows and if you are not then update windows because this usually fix a lot of known bugs and issues with internet and wifi. Okay, so the next thing you want to go and do is update your drivers. So I will leave in the description below a few websites. So first of all, you need to figure out which kind of drivers you need. So go here and type in uh, device manager, click on this. And then in here, go to network adapters. So for me, I currently want to update my Wi-Fi driver. So right here. And then it will have your exact uh, driver name that you need. So Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211. Uh, but for example, if you're using Ethernet, more than likely you will have a Realtek PCIe family controller. So yeah, right now I want to update these the Wi-Fi drivers. So click on here and then download this, accept the terms and the driver will download. Okay, so just wait for it to download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, uh, double click on, click on yes in the pop-up. And then in here, just click on next. I will not update right now, but you will just go through the installation process. It's really simple. So the next thing you wanna do is right click on settings, then go to network and internet, and then choose ethernet or Wi-Fi, whichever one you're using. So for me, I'm using ethernet. Okay, and then in here, uh, metered connection, make sure this is disabled because this will uh, decrease your speed to save data. So if you want more speed, you should disable this. So the next thing you want to go and do is click on search and type in control panel, click on the first one, then view by large icons, and click on network and sharing center, then in here you click on change adapter settings, and choose either Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whichever one you're using, I'm using Ethernet, so right click on Ethernet, click on properties, and in here choose internet protocol version 4 and click on properties. And in here, use uh, the following DNS server. So I will have a few uh, DNS servers in the description, but I'm using this one right here. So just choose one that you like and then click on OK. Then go back into search and type in CMD. Then make sure to right click and choose run as administrator. This is really important. And then in here, I will have the commands in the description. So just uh, input them one by one. So first command is ipconfig slash flush dns enter then input another command which is ip config uh, slash uh, register dns and then enter wait for a bit and then type in ip config slash release and click enter and then type in ip config slash renew enter wait for a bit and then the next command is going to be uh, nat sh uh, winsock reset enter and yeah that's it okay so the next step is going to be open search again then type in device manager in here uh, find either your Wi-Fi card or your Ethernet adapter. So for me, I'm using Ethernet right now. So I will right click on Realtek and click on properties. Then in here, go to advanced and then uh, copy my settings. So advanced EEE disabled 
ARP offload disabled. Auto disable gigabit is disabled. Energy efficient ethernet disabled. Flow control disabled. Gigabit light disabled. Green ethernet disabled. Interrupt moderation disabled. Uh, IPv4 disabled. Large send offload is going to be disabled for both of them and scroll down and maximum number of RSS make sure this is the maximum amount so for me it's 4 then power saving mode disable this one then priority and VLAN priority enabled then go to uh, this one and then click on disable enable I'm sorry enable this one And shut down make on land disabled speed and duplex either the one gigabit option or auto negotiation but for me i'm choosing auto negotiation i think it's the best one and then don't change dc tcp we will change them later on and then go to udp for ipv4 disable and for ipv6 also disable and then make on magic packet disable okay so the last and the most important step of this video Go to this website, I will have the link in the description and download this program. So uh, click on this, download it, save, and then you can just uh, drag the program to your desktop if you want. Then uh, right click on it and run as administrator. This is really important, otherwise it will not work. And then here just wait for it to load. And then in here you click on custom. And then make sure to modify all network adapters this is checked then connection speed max this out to 100 plus then mtu 1500 uh, tcp window auto tuning disabled window scaling disabled this one ctcp disabled disabled time to live is going to be 64 and then ECN enabled, check some offloading, disable this one definitely, TCP chimney offload, disabled, then large send offload, also disabled, then TCP 1325 is enabled, then go to advanced settings, and in here max connections per server, 1, uh, 10, I'm sorry, then 10 here as well, then local priority is going to be 4, Host priority is going to be 5, DNS priority is going to be 6, and NAT priority is going to be 7. Then max, this is going to be 2, then this one is going to be disabled, then initial RTO is going to be 2000, and minimum RTO is going to be 300. Okay, so then this one, you're going to type in 0, then optimal. Then network uh, throttle index is going to be disabled and system responsiveness is going to be gaming. Even if you're not gaming, use this one definitely. And these ones you're going to pick on default because these are known to cause some bugs. And then large system cache is going to be enabled. And size is going to be optimized to 3. And then max user port is going to be 65534. And this one is going to be 30. So when you're done changing everything, click on apply changes. And then click on OK. And you are just letting these things change. Your internet will go down for a few seconds, but just wait, it will come back up. So just wait a little bit. Okay, so on the settings is going to ask you, would you like to reboot now? So I'm not going to be rebooting now, so I'm going to click no. You can also click no and just reboot on your own. So After you have restored your computer and done all of these steps as I did in the video, go back to the speed test website that we did before and run the speed test, but don't run it for a single time, run it three times to make sure that your results are constant. And if you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.